The feature remapper is used to update data in your file from one feature definition to another. So for example, I brought this data in from another workspace, so when I brought it in, it doesn't conform to my features. I don't get the colors and the, the shading that I would expect. We can see that pretty clearly here in the 3D model. And also take a look in the 2D model at this center line. It came in as yellow, uh, but it really should be on a different level and be in red to meet my standards. So we'll go run the remapper. And the way it works is you to use what's called a configuration file. So you can simply pick that configuration file and run the remapping. Once the remapping's done, we can cancel out of there, and you'll see that all my graphics have updated. Everything in my file that I've told it to remap now conforms to that. So I see my materials, my colors displayed in my 3D view, my line work looks correct in the 2D. Now let's take a look at how we actually set that up and made that work. So I'll go back into the tool, I'll pick that configuration file again, and let's look at the definition behind it. First of all, the configuration file defines what is going to be remapped. In my case, I've got linear geometry, corridors, template points, and template components enabled. And I'm remapping that in my active DGN. You could also remap ITL or IRD files. The next part of the power behind this is the spreadsheet that's actually used to do the remapping. In this spreadsheet, I've defined those things that I want to remap. So if I go to the linear geometry tab, I can see that I've defined anything that did have this alignment road geometry feature definition will now become alignment road geom baseline. My corridor, likewise, I've defined to redefine this corridor over to my new corridor name. On the template point feature tab, is where I define what I'm going to redefine my template point features at. Now notice I'm not redefining any of those. And the reason is, some of these I want to get more granular with. Let's take a look at edge of pavement as an example. So I'm going to define all of these on my template point name tab. So here I can go down and look at the individual point names. I can also see the features that they were defined. So these uh, P road edge of pavement features, I'm going to actually define two different new features based on the actual points. So in this case, I'm taking the point and redefining it to here, not just all of the edge of pavement features. So those have all been defined. And likewise, I've redefined my components, how I wanted to map those. The end result is that I got my data remapped very quickly and efficiently.